Hey guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thank you very much for joining me today. As you can see here, I've got a review of the Faber-Castell uh, Pit Graphite Matte Pencils. Now, so if you're not familiar with graphite art, uh, there are tons of graphite artists uh, on the internet. All you got to do is look it up and you can see the work that they can produce with graphite is fantastic. But... Um, there are other mediums that graphite artists will use to help them create certain effects in their work. Uh, mediums such as carbon and charcoal. And they will incorporate that into their, their graphite art. And for s these, these different mediums like carbon and graphite or um, uh, charcoal will, will give the artist a different effect. Uh, that they might be going for and we'll talk about the types of effects that these pencils give you later on but that's the general idea behind why they would use these pencils now i've seen uh some other uh artists talk about these pencils on the internet and a lot of people are talking about you know are they a graphite hybrid is there uh, are they a graphite mix is there carbon in the the graphite things like that now faber castell is one of the few companies where that i don't have like a, an agent that i can go to to find out information um and that's completely understandable because faber castell is a big company and there are a lot bigger reviewers and artists out there that faber castell use and that's absolutely fine it's not like uh i'm not saying that they should use me or anything like that. It's just for for things like this. It's much more difficult for me to pin down an answer. And I have tried to ask Faber-Castell. You know. Without them giving me the exact ingredients. Because things like this are really top. You know. They are top secret to these companies. They don't want these uh, formulas getting out to other companies. And I've read the literature on them. And it, all it talks about is graphite matte. And that is it. Not a graphite mix or a graphite hybrid or you know gra graphite mixed with this or that or you know whether it's mixed with charcoal or carbon or anything like that they only talk about graphite matte and when i have reached out to faber castell they just keep telling me it's a graphite pencil but it it's it's matte now why would why would an artist use this so like i say this is more for people that are not familiar with graphite art if you work with graphite, especially when you're working with, when you think of a, a graphite scale, you have HB kind of like in the center, and then uh, you have other pencils there as well, like you've got an F. But if we look at a scale with HB in the center, and then as you're looking at the scale, the H off to the left and the B off to the right. So the B scale after that is your soft, really dark core graphite and the h range so like h5 h6 all the way up to as far as they go i think the biggest set or er, the the highest h i have is an h10 i'm not too sure if they go higher than that but you're talking then a much harder core a lot less graphite in the mix and so therefore it's it's very very light whereas when you're up around the top end of the b ranges it's it's all graphite. Graphite is a very um, it's a very dark material, uh, which is mined. Uh, if if incidentally you live in the UK or you are visiting the UK and you go to the Lake District, go to the Durham Museum because they have a lot of information on how they gra uh, mine the graphite from the hills in and around the the Lake District. Uh, and it's it's really really interesting how they do it and uh, how far back they they started mining graphite. But anyway, nevertheless, um, and so Faber Castell. So when when you're working with those graphite ranges, especially on the B line, right up at the top, when you are layering and you you're you're trying to get like really really deep rich darks from the from those B ranges. Sometimes it can create a sheen and I'll show you an example of that in a second But this sheen will almost in certain lights look like silver um, and so 
that's not what you're trying to achieve with with these b ranges you're trying to achieve a really dark and it just depends which way the light is hitting it it will either look like i say dark or look silver so there are other companies that have come out with other types of pencils which i'll briefly touch on towards the end of this review but for now this is what we're talking about so faber castell have brought out this pit graphite matte pencil to combat that sheen so let's take a look first of all inside the set now i do have artwork done with these but again i'll talk a little bit more about that in a second so when you open the set up you can see there that inside here you have um eight pencils in total you also have um a blending stump a paper blending stump if you're not familiar with that tool i will explain it in a second then you also have uh, just like a little um metal eraser there or sorry sharpener and a little eraser here pvc free eraser um now i would always i would always suggest that when you are working in graphite or anything like that um a putty eraser like this this is actually a faber castell putty eraser um it's actually two of them just make mixed in Th these are much much i find them much better because when you're using an eraser like this you you have to create that rubbing action and sometimes that rubbing action can just cause many problems for you including you know damaging the tooth of the paper all those different types of things and it depends what type of artwork you're going for but um I, I would always recommend using a putty eraser for, for if you're going to work with graphite. It's just much more gentle on the paper. And if you are light handed with your graphite and you're, you're building up layers, you're going to be able to lift it off quite easily. And with the putty eraser as well, if you're not familiar with it, you can break, break it down and you can just mold it into whatever... like a little point or what have you you can get really detailed marks with them like that or you can bring it into like a little blade like that you can get all they, they allow you to, to they're very very versatile so anyway now with regards to the range so it starts off with an HB, then a 2B, 4B, 6B, 8B, 10B, 12B and 14B. So obviously the, per the, the whole reason behind these pencils is to give graphite artists that those really rich darks without um, that sheen that say like an ordinary uh, 5B pencil would give you or any of the ranges from 2b upwards whenever you start getting those darks you're going to get that sheen but with these pencils it's supposed to eradicate that and it's that's that's why they're called uh pit graphite matte now like i said i've reached out to faber castell and i've read the literature and i cannot find anything or have anybody tell me whether there's a mix inside these pencils according to what i'm being told this is just graphite but they have i don't know whether it's a dye or whether it's some some other compound that they've put into this to prevent it from um giving that sheen out now they, they have stated that it's not carbon so I have been told that it's not carbon and it's not charcoal. So you're unfortunately you're going to have to draw your own conclusions from that. If somebody from Faber Castell is is happy to reach out to me with much more detail than what I've already been given, then I would really love to hear from you. And uh, obviously, if that happens, then I will amend the written review that I will have up of this over on the Art Gear Guide. That's the whole reason why I do these written reviews as well, because I know that a lot of people prefer reading reviews, but it also gives me the ability to amend anything if I need to further down the line. With these videos, I can't really do that, so the, the written version allows me. So anyway, let's take a look at 
the the performance that uh, we get from the the Faber Castell pit graphite mat. Okay, so as you can see, this is kind of like a scale of the the pencils that I used in the artwork. Now I did use with the artwork that I that I completed. Um, I used the Faber Castell pit graphite matte pencils in conjunction with the Faber Castell nine thousand graphite range. So. Uh, I love the Faber-Castell 9000 graphite pencils. They're very, very good. But as you can see here, so I've used uh, a 3H, 2H, H, HB, a B, 2B, 3B, 4B, and a 5B. Now, if we look at this 5B here, in comparison to the Faber-Castell pit graphite matte, the the 6b you can see there that the 6b is quite is significantly darker but if we look at this 14b here it is a, a a gorgeous rich black now where a lot of people might find that these pencils differ from graphite is let me uh just demonstrate this for you so I've just got some Bristol smooth paper here because I want to show you this um, this particular side of graphite. So I'm going to get some, and I'm going to use quite a heavy hand here, and then I'll zoom in once I get some colour on this paper. And I'm using a, a Faber-Castell 9000 5B. So... And just lay layering this graphite down here just to get a nice coverage so that it can help me demonstrate what I'm about to show you. Okay, so let me now zoom in just a little bit here. Okay, so there we go. Now, with the ordinary graphite, from the, the 9000 range. When you are using your blending stump. As you can see here. You can move that graphite around. You can pull it out quite a bit. To help you get like a, a gradient or something like that. If that's what you're going for. Or or just to, to, smoothen out, to smooth out this area. So you can see here. You can still see a little bit of the white of the paper here um, through that, but when you use like a blending stump over it, it just smooths it just smooths it all down and gives you a much much smoother coverage, much more um, even coverage. I guess would be the the, the correct term. And you can see there the difference now. With regards to the sheen, so you can see, let me see if I can get this in this light. You can see it there slightly. When I move the paper, you can see how it changes under the, the bright lights. There we go. And it almost has like that silvery effect on it. Now that's only with a 5B. Obviously, if you go further up in the B ranges, which... Let me see if I've got a... Because that's all I have in the Faber-Castell um, 9000. So if I used uh, the Caran Dash, This is just an ordinary graphite pencil as well. This is 8B. So if you take a look there, it's uh, an 8B graphite pencil. Again, I'm going to get the same thing here. So it'll be nice and dark. You can see there the coverage is a little bit better than that 5B was. But that again, that's because it's a much, much softer pencil. Uh, sorry, core. And again, you know, moving it is effortless with the uh, the blending stump. But when, I, when a certain light hits it, you can see there, you get that. that silvery appearance now so that's 5b and that's 8b now 
when we get to the 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 Faber Castell pit graphite mat. So I'm going to use the six B here. I'm going to use it just under this five B. And again, just a a heavy-handed coverage, just just to to help demonstrate this. And these two layers above were done quite heavy-handed as well. So this is um six B pet mat. And then this one here is the 14B. So again, very, very dark. A little bit crumbly there, but that's to be expected. Now, here's where they differ. It's a little bit more difficult, not much, but it is a little bit more difficult to move this about as opposed to the 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 graphite. But only a little bit. But here's where here's where the whole reason why they exist. So you can see moving about there there is a little bit of a um a sheen off it but not not nearly as much as the graphite and you can see with the 14b i only blended the top part of it for a reason to show you that when you use a, a blending stump and you push that down into the paper you are still going to get that sheen slightly whereas if you see let me show you exactly where i'm pointing to so you can see here the bottom part of this is matte, but the top part has got that same sheen that you get with the graphite. And that's because I pressed hard down on it with the blending stump. So th that is something worth bearing in mind. Now, I am going to show you variations here which i don't normally do when i do a review i normally stick to the one brand but it's important that you take a look at the different variations that i'm going to explain to you but first of all before i do that this was the artwork that i did using just the faber castell 9000 graphite pencils and the um the faber castell pit gra graphite matte now you can see the real d dark blacks there that i wanted they shine a little bit, not very much, but that's because I had to push them down with the, the blending stump. But you can see with some of the bits here in the middle that were done with just ordinary graphite, that there's definitely a sheen off it whenever it's under the light. These bits here, this bit and this bit, were done with the 14B, and you can see there's a slight, sh there's a slight shine off it, but not, not drastic. But it, it does exist. Now. If we go back to the scale. Which is this time it's a little bit different. I've included the Stadler. Uh, Mars Lumograph. Black. Which is a carbon based pencil. Now. Here's where the here's where the controversy kind of like. Sits in. So. Stadler make these. Uh, Mars Lumograph Black and they are sold as a carbon based pencil so th there's, it's th they're not saying that they're graphite it says high quality drawing pencil particularly suitable uh, for drawing and hatching as well as uh, expressive sketches and portraits high portion high proportion of carbon for matte jet black results uh, and then it just say, it talks about the, the wood casing as well but so there's a high proportion of uh, carbon in there uh, and I'm guessing they say proportion because it's mixed in with graphite but the vast majority of it is carbon which gives you this this matte appearance now if you look down here 
the uh, Stadler 8B is darker than the Faber-Castell 14B uh, in the pit range. Now I'm going to show you, if we just come back to these examples. Okay, so if we use the 6B Stadler Mars Lumograph um, right beside the 6B pit. Now, don't forget this is a, a carbon-based pencil. Uh, it's much... It's much... There's a, a... A drier... Feel to this whenever it's going across the paper. It's not as smooth as the, the pit mat. And these... Carbon-based pencils are even harder to move than, say, the matte one. You, you can still move it, but... It's a little bit now. Watch and because I'm blending the top here with the paper stump, just as I did with this 14B. So this one here is um, 6B Mars Mars Lumograph, and I will have images of this over on the written review where you can go across and you can take a little look at it, but. If we now tilt this up, let me show you. So you can see there, 6B from the, the Faber-Castell pit and the 6B from the Mars Lumograph. So you can see here at the top, it still does give that little sheen when you use the, the blending stump. But this 6B Mars Lumograph is darker than the 6B pit. And when we look at the... The full range, uh, in my opinion, th this 8B here from the Mars Lumograph is, is darker than the 14B. So, I guess, when it comes down to it, it's personal preference. Now, there are, like I said to you earlier on, there are other um, mediums that you can use. So, this pencil here is uh, an HB Charcoal. By Conte. Now I've done a review of this set. This is a Conte sketch set. And then. So th this is the. F Fusion. I think it's called. And then this one here is. Conte's carbon base pencil. And then they also have. Um, where is it? This Pierre Nior. Which is. Uh. It translates in English to stone, black stone. Um, but if you, I'll I'll just quickly show you these down here under these ones here. So this one here is the Pierre Nior B. Very scratchy, very. But you can see they're very dark. And that's only the B. Sorry guys, my I you know I'm dyslexic, so I need to see the I need to copy everything. Um and then this one here is the carbon, and again this is uh HB. So this one is a little bit like the, uh, in terms of the ingredient inside the, the, the core, this one here is very much like the uh, Stadler Mars Lumograph Black. And this one here is the Conte HB Carbon. And then this this one here, which is like a uh, the 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 charcoal one. This is two B, and um, you can hear it on the paper there. Let me just get rid of that. So. 
This one is the 2B. Charcoal. So you can see the, the the different variations there in in graphite, carbon, charcoal, um, all different variations that artists would use to get those deep, dark, rich blacks without having that sheen on top of it. You're talking about going for like a, a carbon based pencil or the Faber Castell pit mat. I can't really tell you what I think the benefits are of the Faber-Castell pit graphite matte over say like the Stadler, the, the Mars Lumograph carbon pencils. Other than the obvious and that is that the Mars Lumograph black carbon are slightly darker than the um, Faber-Castell pit graphite matte. I would suggest that if you're doing a an, like a an entire piece and you want to just stick to graphite you don't want to bring in any other mediums or anything like that then the faber castell pit graphite mat are definitely the way to go and i should imagine um if i could pin somebody down from faber castell they would probably say that that was the the main reason why the, the these pencils were bought or produced sorry it does say in the literature by the way that this is a first that nobody else has come up with this um Okay, so it says here, the special feature of the pit graphite matte can be seen by directly comparing to the uh, Castell 9000 in the example areas. So there's an example here in the literature, but uh, it just says further on here. Okay, so it just says here at the beginning, the, the pit graphite matte is a new black, matte and deep black. Uh, artists all over the world have been searching for a graphite lead like this one for years. Faber-Castell is now presenting the pit graphite mat, the world first that stands for uh, reduced reflection on paper. So that's what I was telling you about, about the sheen. For maximum tonal value, density and incredible depth effect. The soft lay down gives the drawing a spontane spontaneous artistic touch uh, and is ideal for extravagant sketching and drawing. The pit graphite mat uh, is extra break resistant, which I had no problems. Uh, th that's another thing. I had no problems whatsoever with these pencils sharpening them, uh, either using my little uh, m &R handheld sharpener or uh, hand crank sharpener. Um, the pit graphite is extra break resistant, light fast and features environmentally friendly water based varnish. Uh, that's for the, the barrel. Uh, it is available in eight degrees of hardness, which I've just ex explained to you. Uh, HB all the way to 14B. So you can see there, in the, even in the literature, they are saying that these are HB. They're saying that they are a world's first, which again leads me to believe that that this is just pure graphite and that they've done something with the graphite to give it that matte feel because we obviously know that there are other brands out there like the the Faber or sorry the the Stadler Mars Lumograph black which gives that matte finish but it's a carbon based pencil so Faber for Faber Castell to be able to claim that this is a world's first um it has to be just graphite but there's something else in there that has given it that matte. And as you can see with the demonstrations that I've shown you here, it does do it very, very well indeed. Um, but, you know, you, you, you've you seen there with the demonstration the other variations that are out there. But you do have to bear in mind, they're variations. Yes, they give you different darknesses, different tonal values, but they're different mediums as well. You know, with charcoal and carbon, they're, they're very different mediums to... Uh, graphite and they behave in different ways on different papers and all the rest of it so there's a whole different range of things there that you need to consider uh if you want to go out and get the the faber castell pit graphite mat so guys in conclusion uh if you want to see the artwork that i've done using these pencils i will have images over on the art gear guide just still images that you can click on zoom in and have a look at um 
it in better detail or you can go across and I also have like a speed drawn video over on YouTube which you, I'll have the links for down below you can just click on it. it's just a six minute video showing you the the, the artwork come to life uh, and as I say I have a written review over on the art gear guide again the link will be down below in the description and you can go across and read a little bit more about here the 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 written review and the video review video review that you're watching now are different there's different information over there i have the prices over there i have links to where you can get these pencils i also ha have information uh regarding to light fastness which is over there but also um like i said if faber castell come to me and they say to me listen harry there's x y or z inside here that gives it that map then i can amend that over on the written review i know they're not going to come forward and give me the ingredient or the formula or anything like that but as things stand right now this is th these are just a graphite pencil that don't have the sheen and and are delivering these really rich black tonal values that graphite artists for years have not been able to get and it is pretty tremendous that they've been able to come up with this formula to produce that for graphite artists. So um, there's a lot of information to take in. I know that, but I just wanted to make sure that I got this review as you know as, as right as I could do. Also, uh, in a week, couple of weeks or so, I will have a video up on Patreon of how to do this particular drawing here that I did using the Faber Castell 9000 and the Faber Castell Pit Graphite Matte. So if you are interested in knowing how to do these kind of like silver links or whatever it is that I've done, um, I will have a, a video up on Patreon. I'll have a link down below where you can go across because over on my Patreon channel I have a ton of different tutorials over there. And I will be go going forward, I will also be adding in there some uh, some basic tutorials showing blending of markers, blending of uh, pastels and uh, colored pencils you know taking it right back to basics as well as more advanced stuff with regards to uh, tutorials how to do things so uh, definitely go across to my patreon channel have a little look uh, you can become a patreon over there for as little as two dollars a month or uh, as much as fifteen dollars a month they both give you the same thing I've left it completely open to you as to what you can afford but I just wanted to make sure that everybody had a bite of the cherry so to speak so that's it i know it's been a long review but i just wanted there's a lot of information to get through thank you so much guys for watching this i really look forward to seeing you all again in the next review thank you bye